Hello everyone and welcome again. In today's episode we're going to have a look at our next PIC microcontroller which is PIC 16F628A. So continuing from the previous um, one, let's uh, copy it, the whole project, oops, not this, let's copy the whole project, copy, okay, let's call it uh, according to our PIC 16F628A. Okay, now I'm happy with all the paths, so I'm just gonna copy. Great, now let's right click on it and let's make it uh, our main project. Okay, now in the settings, let's click on the settings and let's change our device to the actual one that we're using, which is 16F628. A, lovely got the uh, um, our programmer this is our compiler apply and okay great so the project is set up for this now the last thing to do is to rename the source file appropriately to this type of uh, microcontroller so I'm just gonna delete that part actually let's do it all 16f 628a main Okay, okay. Now double click to open it. Now what we see here is all the setup we've used on the previous PIC microcontroller, which is uh, 12F. So I'm just gonna, what we have to do is um, change this uh, bit configuration. So let's go to production, set configuration bits. Now in here, we gonna use internal oscillator, so we need this option to free us the pins. Now this is gonna be off, this is gonna be off, off and off. So we're not gonna use anything, uh, any of them, any, any of them we need on. So so like that, generate the code. I'm gonna copy the whole code and what I'm gonna replace everything from that line, from the xc.h, from the header for the com uh, compiler. I'm just gonna paste it here, so it's nice and neat there. Okay, lovely. Now this is um, from the previous programming. So let's see if we can build it for this peak microcontroller. So coming from 12F615 to 16F628A, let's see if these instructions are acceptable. So let's build it, just build for a moment. And what we can see the instructions for the trees and port register are the same, sort of uh, acceptable for those two picks. So the program more likely will be um, compatible apart from obviously the configuration bits. Okay, so which is good. Now um, let's go to our data sheet. Let me bring this um, like that. Let's go to our data sheet for um, the device. Okay, let me just make this bigger and maybe fit on the one full page. Let's go for the diagram. Okay, so on the pin diagram, what we can see is, uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, is we got two ports now. We got port A in here and port B. They're all kind of like divided by this power supply to the pick. So we've got eight bits on each one we can say like each nibble is divided to left and right side ports are top and bottom which is kind of a like a neat way I wonder if someone thought about this when they were <laughs> programming okay so um, we've got 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 we've got the ports in this way so let's go and um, now have a look at our connections to the pick I'm just gonna move this there like that okay on our pick on our board uh, it's already connected so I've got my power supply board to the to the to the breadboard we've got our um, let me just um, do it like that um, we've, got, we've got our LED we've got the uh, resistor as before and the jumper wire uh, which we'll be using to probe the pins that we programmed now We've got our PIC programmer, PIC Kit 4, and this is a series of uh, jump wires to connect it to the PIC while we program it. Let me just zoom it in. 
okay so now it's nicely zoomed in what we can see again we've got our LED we've got the resistor jumper wire and now we've got the connections to the pick kit so we've got the uh, power supply we've got the uh, data line we've got the clock line and MCLR line to the pick and the supply as well there we go and that jump wire is connecting the uh, the positive power supply VDD so now let's go back to um, the uh, data sheet and now have let's have a look what we're gonna do now, I'm, we're gonna be looking at the uh, B port in this example we're gonna be interested in programming the B port so um, what we can see is we've got the first nibble, the bottom nibble, lower nibble uh, on the left hand side and on the right hand side we've got the upper nibble. So let's go, let's zoom out again and let's go to the instructions for this particular port. Let's have a look what we're going to be uh, using, what we can use. Right, so this is the set of instructions associated with port B. Let me just uh, zoom in a little bit. So. Uh, unlike the port A, port B, we can have all of them inputs, outputs, and um, we've got 8 bits for uh, twist register and we've got 8 bits for port pins, which is lovely. Now let's go to uh, coding. Let's have a look now. Okay, let's change this twist to B. Now let's change this port to B, and in here we don't have input only, so all of them will be oops will be outputs which is all of the zeros now in this case it's good to use uh, hexadecimal because in hex it's just two zeros to um, explain that um, all of those eight bits are zeros okay now let's change this uh, to binary for just a little bit of a visual aid now going from the upper nibble uh, sorry from the uh, most significant bit let's say what we would like to have is uh, or maybe let's let's set them all to a high for a moment okay so we've got one two three four and one two three four okay eight bits high lovely now let's uh, build this and let's program it straight to the uh, pick Okay, so we've got programming verify and complete. Lovely. Now, um, let me just uh, move this uh, down. Okay, now let's have a look at um, what we've got on our board. Okay, so I'm just going to take this um, probe in end. So, what we've said is uh, we set all of the pins to the high um, state. So, all of those 8 bits should really be on. So let's go from the uh, lower one. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Lovely. All of them on as we um, as we asked to be. Now let's just verify that what we're doing is uh, actually happening. So. Um, that would be obviously FF in uh, in hexadecimal. If you like, leave it this way. Let, let, let's try to um, different one. Let, let's go zero zero one one zero one zero zero. Okay. So from um, the lowest bit, are we going to be checking? We're expecting zero zero one zero one one zero zero. Okay. Let's build and program. Okay. We've got uh, programming and uh, complete. So. Let's go again and let's test it if it's um, what is supposed to be. So again, going from the lowest uh, bits, what we're expecting to see is zero zero one one on uh, this nibble. Zero zero one zero, yes, and then on the higher one is one one zero zero one one zero zero. Lovely. So that's how we can set the whole uh, truth register and port register. But now with these picks, what we see is we can uh, target all those ports and truth register as uh, separate entities and 
we can set them um, not affecting any other bits. So let's have a look at those instructions now. Tris uh, register. Okay, so what we can say is Tris B. Now bits. This is very important that we use it in um, this case, the higher case, uh, uppercase and lower case, because otherwise the compiler one will not understand it. Now we say dot, and now we got help from the compiler saying that these are the bits that we can use. Which one would you like to target? So we say zero, for instance, and it's going to equal now one is input, zero is output. I want it to be output. Lovely. Now um, that's the one of the way to set it. I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna set the whole port to the output because that's what I want. So I'm just gonna leave it there. If we want to affect the um, uh, the, 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 the the port uh, the pins separately, what we say as per the instructions, we say port b bits. And now as we press dot, the compiler already is saying that we've got 8 bits that we can say and all of them are unused. So let's go for instance RB, RB0 and we're going to set this one to low. So we're not going to have any voltage there. Okay, now let's go again, port B bits and now I press dot. So now what we're going to say is port, let's say number 4, it's going to be high, okay, lovely, I'm going to leave it like that, let's build it and let's test it, see what we're going to have, so let's build and program at the same time. Okay, program is complete, verify. It's great. Um, now let's probe it. Okay, so we've got um, our um, program complete. Now let's have a look if um, if it was uh, successful. So let me just grab this and uh, just gonna probe it from. Okay, zero, RB zero is zero, RB four zero one two three four is one great exactly as expected now one more thing let's um, let's do one more thing in here while we are testing this so port B for instance now we're gonna set all of them high which is 0 X F F okay now let's program it quickly okay so we've got it complete now um, let's check all of those bits what we've asked them to be is high, so all of them should be on 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, all of them are on. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to delete this instruction and we're going to say port b bits dot and now I'll be interested in rb2 and what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to set it to 0, so I'm going to uh, drive it low. Uh, oops, port B bits dot. Now let's go for RB5. RB5. And I'm gonna say this one is zero as well. So now let's see what's gonna happen with the pick. What's it gonna do if I'm only targeting these two um, programming these two pins? Okay, so let's build an. Um, program okay so it's successful now let's probe those pins that we've asked them to be zero RB2 so we've got zero one two that's zero three four and five five is zero as well now would you like to guess what happened with the other ones RB0 is on one on two zero four is on rb4 is on rb5 zero so as you can see all of the other ones they remain unaffected as we said um 
these pins, this this, this um, pin programming, direct port programming is not affecting any other configuration. So, as we've got other ones already programmed, this will only stay change the state in uh, the certain program uh, uh, memory program page. So that's how you can address the whole port and the separate bits in both registers, TRIS and uh, port B and port. So thank you very much for watching this video and I welcome you to our next video and see you then. Thank you. Bye.